and welcome back once again. The Wednesday night edition of Inside the Headset, and we're going to roll over to Williamson County. And guess what, kids? Coach Will Hester has come home to Ravenwood, and I was just telling him I do not have a Ravenwood Raptors logo. So Coach Hester is no longer in the state of Alabama. He is on the other side of the bracket. We could possibly see him again later on. But anyway, he's with us. He's on the air, and he's back in the state of Tennessee. How you doing, Coach? Oh, doing wonderful, Stuart. Well, uh, what's going on over at Ravenwood besides you trying to get ready for NBA, and that game is at home? Yeah, dodging raindrops and late-breaking news. The game's not going to be at home. It's going to be at NBA because our brand-new turf facility is not quite playable yet. So we're going to head on the road to West End. Well, and you know what? Uh, how much of a debacle does that cause for you other than, you know, you had planned on just walking out of your locker room and if you forgot anything or whatever. So – uh, tomorrow, will that be uh, anything, or how long have you known about this, or when did you make that decision? <laughs> the decision was made about 1 o'clock today. Okay. Uh, we went on the road for all of our scrimmages this year, so we practiced getting on the bus. We practiced loading the trailer. We practiced all that great stuff. So okay, so you already been do this. System, so. Yeah, so you already been through this. You've been loading everything up already. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, what are we going to look like? I mean, what do you got? I mean, I, I don't want to hear the old, I'm just going to throw them out there and see what they look like. That, I mean, that ain't you. Come on. I mean, what do you got? How many seniors? How many juniors? Give me a breakdown, Coach. Yeah, we got 26 seniors. Uh, wow. You know, we got some marquee players. Miles Pollard, uh, the corners, committed to the University of Michigan. Uh, Isaac Rollins, who's played a bunch of snaps for us, is going to choose between several high-level academic schools like Yale and Harvard. And, uh, you know, very talented on the defensive side of the football. Got nine seniors returning over there. Uh, on the offensive side, we have a transfer quarterback from Texas, Chris Parson, who's committed to Florida State, uh, just a junior. Uh, and we have an offensive guard who also transferred in from the state of Texas that's uh, – you know, choosing between Arkansas State and a bunch of other group of five schools. So, uh, got a lot of talented receivers. We'll play six guys at receiver, uh, all of which we like a whole lot. And, and we'll kind of play tailback com by committee. We got a three headed monster that we'd like to use back there. So, excited about this group and excited to uh, to get it going. Uh, what what what's the, what's the biggest obstacle in front of this this talented? corral of talent that you've just spat over this this coaches show uh I, i'm i'm very thrilled for you and all the talent you got you're going to be able to suit up but uh what uh, what, what is the biggest thing these guys got to learn i mean what's what's up against them they're still 15 16 year old kids what's 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 their own worst enemy yeah i mean a lot of times themselves you know in that inflated view of themselves obviously uh you know you know we got to humble ourselves to play as a team and take care of the team mentality. And uh, what better way to be challenged with that than to go play an NBA group and Marty Huberard, who we all know well from his days at Murfreesboro and uh, always one of the best coaches in Tennessee, or at least I think he is. And his team's always come ready to play. And he's got a talented quarterback in his own right, Marcel Reed, who has the offer from Alabama. And anytime Nick Saban kind of anoints you as a good player, especially as a quarterback, uh, you must be something special. So the Raptors have their hand full this week. So, well, I mean, besides them having a quarterback that, you know, and everything, what do you got to do to stop these guys? I mean, you need to come away. You need to, I mean, the, the Hester era needs to crank up again. I mean, so what do you got to do, Coach, to beat Marty Uvoard? And then, I mean, besides control uh, control that turnover and the, the time of possession, what's this group got to do? Yeah, I mean, there's no coach speak here, Stork. We just got to score one more point than they do. That's going to be the main emphasis uh, but it all starts with, you know, playing great team defense and, and not making mistakes. It's the first time out. Uh, so, you know, you can't have those jitters. You can't be uh, shocked being under the lights. You know, the teams that handle the emotion of game one, usually the ones that come away with the victory. So we got to we gotta be the ones to do that. Looking at your schedule, got a nice flavor. You're at BGA, uh, and that's a non-conference game. And then you got Franklin, which is a conference. Life Academy from Virginia. Tell me a little bit about Life Academy, Virginia. Yeah, so they're one of those schools like IMG. Yep. Uh, it's one of those deals where it's kind of a uh, – they do like online classes, and then 
you know, focus on the football. They've got five or six players in the ESPN top 100. I think three of them are committed to the University of Tennessee. Uh, you know, very, very athletic, very talented group, and uh, should be a, a huge challenge for us. But excited for our kids to have a chance to play in that game. Uh, is that a TV game? Uh, as of now, it's just un- in discussions. It has not been finalized. Since it is, you know, a month or so out, I don't think they'll set that in stone for another week or two. Oh, I thought they – I've already seen the My UPN 30. Well, what, you, uh, you know, TV is the only thing because you can't stream in uh, Williamson County. A Board of Education won't allow it. So, um, uh, in, we do have a contract with the NFHS network now, so they are – Oh, so you are streaming. Now. Good for you all. Good for them letting that the, – the kids get in on that. I'm glad Williamson County Board ha- – all hail to board, uh, board of Education Williamson County, but that was a bylaw. No streaming in Williamson County there yep. for a while. Yeah, they have sent changed that and uh last year was the first year uh, i think you know with the covid and people being limited capacity kind of got the ball rolling but we yeah kept it in place, so. yeah that, that's good maybe they may let me i don't know i'm white trash they probably won't let me come over to williamson county and then uh you got you got the game at hendersonville and then at summit i like that and summit is a region game centennial uh, jp2 non-region and then independence as a region game so you got a nice schedule coach yeah, very difficult. Now that we match up with Memphis in the first round of the playoffs, you know, uh, doing well in the region and, and getting a, a high seed is a must, or you're going to end up traveling to Whitehaven early on. Oh, wow, wow. So uh, explain that. So that's a good one for the fans. Thank you for, for letting me in on that. So uh, normally you would go, where would you, if you come out, if you come out on top and you come out on top of your region, out of the Williams. We will play the fourth place team out of Memphis. Okay, but if you come out the fourth place team in Williams, play the first team, team out of Memphis, Memphis, which, which is going to be Whitehaven, White 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 yeah, predominantly Whitehaven. Yep. Yeah. 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 Wow, wow! And then if you make it through that, then who you got to go through? Who's left? Yeah, so you would, you know, it would be our league in Memphis for the first three rounds. The semifinals would be the team to come out of the Beach, Gallatin, Cane Ridge, Stewart's Creek. That crew would who you play. Well, no, it's not Stewart's Creek because they're now with us. But you know who you could be? Smyrna. Yep. Yep. Smyrna Laverne. Smyrna Laverne. So Smyrna. I mean Smyrna. I'll see them Friday night. So. Yeah, you could end up playing Matt Williams. That'd be – yeah, ooh. You got a long way to go, though, Coach, but we can talk about all that. Well, Coach, yeah, I hope – Absolutely, we just got to worry about Friday. Yeah, I had to say so. But, Coach, it's so good to talk to you and everything. We'll have to get together and uh, chat. Uh, are you over in Williamson County? Are you living over here? Where would you decide to set up shop, or did you keep your tent over in Williamson County? What would you end up doing? Yeah, we're off right off Concord Road in Williamson County. Oh, yeah. Well, you can still over there. Somebody probably moved you in, bought you a house. Who knows? But anyway, all right. <laughs> all right, Coach. Well, good luck Friday night, and we hope to we hope to talk to you soon. Hi, Stork. See you, buddy. See you, bye.